Hi there. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Holger Rehmer for uh, sending me some uh, milling cutters all the way from Berlin. So that was very, very much appreciated. Um, in my last video, uh, when I fitted the carriage lock, Holger suggested that uh, another modification I should make is fitting a cover to the gears on the apron. Um, now I know there's quite a few videos out there that uh, cover that particular modification but on the SC3 um, th there's a cover on the lead screw so that actually means that the clearance between the apron and the cover is round about one millimeter um, and I know a lot of the modifications use uh, I think two millimeter thick acrylic so I'm going to have a go at um, using uh, a different product um, so this is some Lexan polycarbonate uh, sheet and that is only half a millimetre thick so I'm going to try and um, cut that to size and fit it to the apron but I'll also be trying a different method of attaching it so fingers crossed it'll work out okay so anyway let's see how we get on Okay, so I've already covered um, how to take the apron off in a previous video, so uh, I won't go through all that in detail, but I'll just go ahead and, and take it off. Okay, so the idea will be to uh, cut a piece of polycarbonate um, to fit that shape just around there, uh, just to stop any uh, bits getting into uh, the gears and causing problems. So that measures uh, roughly uh, around about 10 centimeters by 8 centimeters. So I've just uh, drawn on here roughly uh, those dimensions. And uh, this product is really easy to uh, cut, um, just use some scissors. And it is quite rigid, so I'm hoping it will be uh, good enough for this particular job. So what I'll do now is um, work out where the hole has got to be for this gear. So this needs to slot over that gear and then that will enable me to work out um, just where to trim this. Okay so I've roughly marked the position of the hole for the gear to go through and I think it should be uh, around about 17 millimeters in diameter. Now I've not got a 17 millimeter drill bit all I've got that comes close is a 16mm uh, wood uh, bit. So um, what I've decided to try is I've put some double sided tape on here. So I'm just going to stick it to that. And now I'm just going to just try hand drilling that. That seemed to work. So I'll, I'll now just uh, use a round file just to open it up that extra one millimeter. And obviously I'll take the double sided tape off it as well. Well it was really difficult getting rid of that uh, double sided tape so I've had to use some white spirit to remove it. Um, but that's good in a way because I'm going to be using double sided tape 
as part of one of my methods to attach it uh, to the apron. So that's worked out to be a really good fit. So now I just need to trace around um, this top of the half nut so I can at least get it laid flat so I can trace around the back. So let's see if I can do this from here. Perfect. Now I know a lot of people um, drill and tap the apron to hold on the piece of plastic but I'm going to try a different approach so what I'm going to do is in the plastic I'm going to drill some holes at various places and uh, I'll be using my hot glue gun to uh, try and attach the plastic uh, through the holes onto this metal so I'll be hot gluing the metal and then um, be a bit like a rivet I suppose and in addition to that, um, I'm also going to be putting some double-sided sticky tape around it as well. Um, so let's see how uh, that works out. So this is a 3mm drill bit. Okay, so having drilled these holes, I'm just going to put a little mark with the felt tip pen. Just so I know where the hot glue gun needs to stick to the metal. Now what I'll do is, uh, this surface is nice and clean, so I'm going to put some double sided sticky tape around here, uh, between the areas where the holes are. Well I uh, put on the double sided tape, sticky tape, and um, I greased up, and I've placed the cover on here, and it seemed to attach reasonably well to the double sided tape. So now I'm going to use this hot glue gun um, just to try and glue it where I drill the holes. Well, it does actually seem to have worked. That seems pretty solid.
or does it? No. Okay then, so plan B. I shall uh, clean up these holes and I'll uh, do a little bit, a little bit of drilling and tapping. Okay, so this is plan B. Uh, I've marked out uh, where I need to drill and tap. Uh, so I'll get on with the job. I'm going to tap um, three millimetre threads. And I'll go down to a depth of about seven millimetres. Okay, so I've um, now tapped the holes, uh, greased up. And uh, it's just a matter of fitting the plastic cover. Perfect. Well, I got there in the end. Um, I mean, unfortunately, my uh, original plan uh, to attach the uh, polycarbonate sheet with um, some double sided sticky tape and hot glue uh, just didn't work. Uh, but obviously, the um, tapping and threading and, and putting some uh, screws in there to hold it in place uh, just worked a treat. Um, I would highly recommend this uh, polycarbonate sheet, uh, they call it Lexan. Um, it's only half a millimetre wide, uh, but it, it works great with this SC3 lathe. Um, you are really restricted um, with it having this uh, cover over the lead screw, uh, but this really did, did the job. It's flexible, uh, but strong as well, so once screwed in place, um, you know, it's the business. Anyway, um, I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support and advice. It's very much appreciated. And uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. So see you later. <laughs>